All right, well, in case parents out there may have missed this. February is National Children's Dental Health Month. This morning, investigator Bill Spencer has three very important things that you need to know that most of us don't really know. It could make a huge difference in the future of your child's dental health. We're going to close her gaps here and here. We're going to close these. I don't think anyone enjoys going to the dentist, but LaCarsha McAfee of Houston has learned the hard way. The sooner you teach your kids to take care of their teeth, the better. She takes her two children for dental exams every six months. It's very important because I'm here now because I didn't take care of mine, so I really want to take care of the years. Now, in honor of National Children's Dental Care Month, Dr. Terry Alani, one of Houston's most respected dentists, is about to teach us three things you need to know about taking care of your children's teeth that most of us just don't know. Number one, if your child should knock out a tooth in an accident, you can save it if you act quickly. Oh, absolutely. You've got probably about an hour to save the tooth. So here's what you should do. First of all, don't wrap it up in a napkin. You want to preserve the root fibers along the root. So you've got a couple of things you can do. One of them is you can find a glass of, uh, you can spit into it, put it in a glass of saliva or some salt water or milk. Number two, you need to save your children's baby teeth. It turns out children's baby teeth are loaded with life-saving stem cells. The pulp in the teeth are loaded with stem cells. And those baby teeth, dentists are now saying, should be saved for the child's entire life so that the stem cells in those teeth can be used later on in that person's life to perhaps save them from some chronic disease, even cancer. So basically there are storage houses out now that are available for parents to actually save their baby teeth. Yes, it's believed the stem cells from those teeth can be used to fight diabetes, heart disease, even cancer in the years ahead. And number three, you need to help your children brush their teeth all the way up to age seven. And you would definitely supervise. You can brush as a family or whatever, but I would definitely supervise in the beginning. You don't want to swallow the toothpaste. And just one more thing, if you don't remember anything else, remember that you need to get your kids into the dental office regularly and that means once every six months to protect their teeth for a lifetime of great dental health. I'm Bill Spencer, KPRC 2 News.